All right, let's talk about Cam Newton. What's going on, folks? This is Coach Marcus for Pro Fan Talk. Cam Newton is in the news because he says some people are game managers. But Brock, let's, they're not winning because of him. He's not turning the ball over. He's managing, He's managing. the game. Brock Purdy, Dak Prescott, all being game managers. I wish I could go back in time and figure out who started that, who came up with the concept of game manager or a system quarterback. It was really created for uh, as a title for backups, for people that it was like a backhanded compliment for quarterbacks that you didn't think was good enough. If they did play well, it was a surprise. Or you wanted them to play good enough not to lose. I believe Cam Newton even said that on his podcast. Don't do anything to screw it up. And while that is not necessarily untrue, it's evolved a little bit, but the problem is not what he said, because he's not the first person to say that. There have been other people, other media heads on TV, this, that, and the other. The problem is that he came from Cam Newton and the perception of Cam Newton. That's what the problem is. It's not what he said, it's that he said it. And it seems to me like most people have an issue with Cam, not necessarily what he said, whether you agree with it or not. Media heads, say stuff that people don't agree with every day. Does Stephen A. Smith get the same vitriol? Does Uncan Ojo get the same vitriol? Skip Bayless, does he get the same vitriol? Just because somebody didn't have a Hall of Fame career or somebody isn't the athlete or the quarterback or the player that you expected them to be doesn't mean they don't know what they're talking about. And in my opinion, when it comes to Cam Newton, he's catching all of this flack for the simple fact that there's a lot of people out there that don't like Cam Newton. People still haven't gotten over the way he acted after he lost the Super Bowl. It was kind of horrible. He admitted it, that he was a sore loser. And I'm okay with that. That comes with the territory. I saw what Prime said about it after it happened. You can't do that. That's true. I understand the emotions of losing but you can't do that. It is what it is. Props to him. He owned up to it. He said, yeah, I'm a sore loser. I don't know what you expect. You show me a good loser. I'm going to show you a loser. Many people have said the same thing, but because people have never liked Cam's bravado ever since he started the Superman thing, people just haven't liked that. Now, he didn't do himself any favors either with some of his actions and behavior and things of that nature. And it turned people the wrong way. But even in that, what was the worst thing that Cam ever did? Compared to a lot of other people that get second and third chances and, and now you got owners that are drunk and saying ridiculous stuff. Um, what's the worst that he did? You don't like his attitude? You don't like the way he went about his business? That's okay. You don't, you don't have to like it. That doesn't mean what he said wasn't true or that it doesn't have some merit. You don't have to agree with it. For some people and some personalities on TV or on YouTube or what whatever medium you're taking in now, it seems like depending on who you are, everybody goes a little bit extra, whether they like you or not, or whether they don't, regardless of what the topic is. Here's how you know that people really don't like Cam. Because when they interviewed uh, Greenberg show, Dominic Foxworth and Jeff Saturday, and all of them, everybody has something to say, but when the girl led off and she made the comment about what he was wearing. Like, <laughs> Move past the outfit for a second. There you go. They put that little extra on there just to let you know that they don't like him. What he was wearing had zero to do with what he was talking about. So why would you bring that up? I believe it was Kimberly Martin. I think that's her name. You can tell whether or not they like Cam by their first comments. If they say something and say, but that means they throw the dig in first. But let me say this first. I like him as a person. I did, did. Then they go into all of that. It's like, we ain't asked you all of that. The question is, do you agree with what he said? Whether you like him or not should be irrelevant. But you get these people want to dig on him about uh, what he's wearing. They totally forget that he was one of the best quarterbacks in the game. MVP. He took the Carolina Panthers to 15-1 and one and they lost in the Super Bowl. Now we go back to this phrase, game manager or a system quarterback. What does that mean? If you're a game manager, that to me, that just means you're doing what you're supposed to do. If you don't have good receivers, you get, you get the ball to the hot hand, whoever's catching the ball, or give it to your running back. Basically, a game manager or a system quarterback is dealing with what they got on their field in front of them at any given moment. The media has made that a negative connotation because they first, I think, they first started talking about that when it related to backups. So if you're going to look at it from that standpoint, yeah, you could call Brock Purdy a game manager, but guess what? 
It's 31 other teams in the NFL that wish they had a game manager like Brock Purdy or a system quarterback like Brock Purdy or Jalen Hurts or whoever else you want to mention. Remember what happened with Cooper Rush and the Cowboys last year? Was he a game manager? Was he a system quarterback? People, because of social media now, everybody gets butt hurt over every little thing if they're not praising your guy to the nth degree. And that is not required. Everybody here in Philadelphia, in Dallas, in Kansas City, is Patrick Mahomes a system quarterback or a game manager? Because now that Tyreek Hill is gone and Eric Bieniemy is gone, his game is not the same. Would you agree or disagree? Does that make him a game manager or a system quarterback? Or does he still consider himself elite? Because guess what? If he's considered elite, well, he hasn't been as good without Tyreek Hill. He wasn't as good when Travis Kelsey was hurt. So where does that fall into it? You got selective outrage for certain people on certain things. But for me, the question is, why is being a game manager or a system quarterback, why has that got to be negative? You look at somebody like Josh Allen, who they continue to want to say is an elite level quarterback, and he got more interceptions than anybody else. His stats aren't great. He hasn't made it to the Super Bowl. At least you can can say he made it to the Super Bowl. Does he have the right to say that about Dak Prescott? Absolutely has the right to say that. You don't have to agree with it. A lot of people getting upset. And I think it has more to do with whether you like or dislike Cam Newton as opposed to what he said. I did a video about Mark Sanchez. It was the same situation about Mark Sanchez. He was talking about Jason Kelsey and how good he was. And because it was Mark Sanchez, immediately everybody kind of wants to poo-poo what he said. They don't, they take it with a grain of salt. Just because he had the butt fumble, just because his career wasn't the best, doesn't mean he doesn't know what he's talking about. You look at somebody like JT O'Sullivan with the quarterback school, just because he was a career journeyman backup, doesn't mean he know he didn't know how to play the game. Just because Dan Orlovsky didn't have a great career in Detroit, doesn't mean he doesn't know the game. But Dan Orlovsky is a little bit different because his personality is a little bit more likable than Cam Newton because he's not as braggadocious. So I understand where Cam is coming from. I don't necessarily agree with all of it, but I agree with some of it. And people are taking it too far because they don't like Cam. And it's a whole bunch of personal attacks coming out because they don't like him. If you like this content, please hit like and subscribe. Do me a favor, go to my channel, click on a playlist and play it all the way through. We trying to grow. All right. Talk to y'all later. Go birds.